Yo, yo, all right, we back. So, let's watch Gonzalo do his thing and see how amazing it looks. Go! <clears throat> all right. Gonzalo Bergara Peggio Lick number two. Now, uh, oh, I have a pick in my pocket. I do. All right, Gonzalo Bergara Lick number two. Very related to the first lick. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It just starts off in what I'm calling the second position. Doesn't really mean anything, but it's just the second position because the first position was the first one. And uh, so this one starts off a little bit differently. And you'll notice Gonzalo does this because he'll, he'll play, he'll kind of like do a little strumming when he's not playing anything. You know, keeping this alternate pick thing. So we're still in Coquette, which is just going to be... So when you start off a lick, you'll go that little upstroke on the A. You know, it's it's uh, I think it's a way for him to maintain a swing while playing. So this upstroke, and you'll see him do this a lot with many of these kind of like. Just, just whatever. That was, that was total bullshit, by the way. Don't even pay attention to that. But, um, so yeah, so he does this upstroke. And it's almost like a rest. It's, it's, it's like a... It's just a muted note. Now, the one that I'm going to go over in the video is actually him playing with Joshua doing the Jangology song, Yosho, and highly controversial video because it looks like Gonzalo is having a really bad time and all these people comment on it, it's pretty funny. But either way, Gonzalo's playing in the video is just insane as always, as per usual. And so this lick, the real key is that when you're maintaining that swing and you're doing the same kind of thing, going from the five, right there. Two, three, four. Uh -huh. So that's just a great lick to play in any situation where you're going from a five to a one. And you see this movement a lot in Gypsy Jazz. So this is a very, very, very useful lick. Now I'm going to play with a little loop. So that's the application for this lick. Now, if you want to get super mega fast with it, like, let's just uh, let's see how fast we can get without me dying in the process. So that, that'll be a normal tempo. So, you know, 
It's an easy lick. I, I think it's an easy lick. Easier of the of the gypsy licks out there because of multiple reasons, and I'm gonna go over those reasons right now. So I have another diagram that you're gonna see, and this is gonna be the the modified, you know, the second position uh, Gonzalo arpeggio. And this one is gonna start kind of, like I said, with that upstroke on the A, that, and all you're doing is, uh, you know, an A major triad. So you're starting off like that, but then you're continuing that A, that A9 idea. It's, it's really easy because basically when you're ascending, you're doing this up, down, up. Then you're just doing two sequential downstrokes, down, down, then up, down, down, up. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to play that A on the low E, you could, and it would just be this repeating pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So that ascending part is super easy because it just works with the gypsy mechanics so well. And so once you're done playing that, there's those four notes on the high E. Makes sense, right? You want to start alternate picking once you start descending. Basically on the high E, you're going to want to do those four notes. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to do another four notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. So when you're descending, as long as you keep it all even, you can maintain alternate picking all the way through. So. It's not that hard, as long as you can just go. That's how fast you can play if you're alternate picking. You don't have to worry about all this weird sequential downstroke stuff. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes, nobody likes to have to practice that. It's not fun. This is fun. That's not. So, all in all, the lick is really cool, and you know, I'm probably throwing up diagrams over in this region. Can you see me? Oh, you can't see, probably can't see my hand. But, yeah, the diagrams are right there. I also have them in the links, and um, you know, I'll just do a little playing around with that lick, just, just to see how it can be thrown in there. And I'm actually gonna take this guy off so I can play it in different areas of the neck. So bye bye. All right, now that I've taken the guy off, I call him the guy, it's really the magnet. And uh, I'm just gonna show how you can throw that lick, the anywhere around the neck. Pretty much, uh, I think a good way to look at it is, you know, if you know the chords of the song, like in that next part, it goes from the D dominant to the G, bom, 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 to the E, and then back to the. So if you know you're going from the D dominant to the G, well. You're just gonna play over the D. You're, you're gonna in your head play that uh, D9 arpeggio. So just look at where the D is on the guitar and then start that same type of idea. Then you're landing on the G. So that's what's cool about this lick is that 
You throw it in there, you're gonna land right where you want to. So, yeah, so that's what makes this look cool. It can be thrown anywhere, and Gonzalo says this a lot. He says, take a phrase, take one phrase that you know, you know, like this one, and throw it in everywhere. Because that's how you make it part of your musical vocabulary. You have to just continue to throw it in all the time. I put on backing tracks all the time and then just throw in licks, throw in licks, try and throw them. And you can throw them in different kind of times. Don't you know, don't you don't have to play them in the same way that I'm playing it where it's like it can be in a totally different area. And then also, you know, mess around with the notes. You know, you can, like I said, if you're choosing any number of uh, even numbers of notes while descending on any string, it's just going to feel nice. So, you know, experiment with that. Experiment with that idea because that's just, it's, it, it just opens up a whole different world of playing fast. And let's be honest, in gypsy jazz, a lot of people, they want to play fast. You want to play fast. It's fun. Now, I think slow playing is also important, too. I'll probably make a couple videos on that, but for the time being, my stuff is going to be more focused on the advanced fast level because I, on YouTube there's just a big void of people teaching how to play Gypsy Jazz real fast in an effective way that feels comfortable. So that's why I'm making these videos, that's why I'm making these diagrams and showing this stuff, just to kind of explain how you can go about approaching it and turning it into your own thing, which is obviously what Gonzalo did, and uh, that's that's really cool, and I admire him for that, and, you know, me breaking down his legs has helped me understand kind of how to play this music that seems, like I said before, so complex, when in actuality, it's a bunch of pre-picked licks. I hate to put it this way, because it just sounds like, well, that's not improvising if you're just learning licks, but there's no way you could think that fast to, you know. Without already knowing a shape or, you know, hey, this is, when I'm descending, I'm gonna do alternate picking, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're not gonna be able to just make these things up on the fly. They almost have to be premeditated. So that's why it's good to build your own vocabulary of licks and things. And then that's how you eventually learn to tie them together into a coherent solo or coherent piece of music. So, that's what's freaking awesome about this thing. And go ahead and use it. You know, there's a bunch of backing tracks online for Coquette and Jangology. Uh, Jangology is extremely hard. I'm still going over that one, so I'll probably have some cool arpeggio ideas on that soon. But play around with this lick. Uh, if you like it, tell me what you think. Obviously, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get a bunch of followers because hopefully, you know, I'm feeling this Gypsy uh, Gonzalo explanation void that I don't seem to see on the internet. So, uh, if you dig it, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. It's time to do the fucking damn thing. Alright, guys. Have a good day. One, two, one, two.